Hey everybody, this is the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to Cauldrons of War, Barbarossa. And here we are, um, September 7th, 1941. So we're, um, we're the Russians. We're trying to hold back the uh, rampaging Germans. And believe me, easy it's not. Um, <laughs> so let's take a look at... Um, What's happening here? Okay, there's these are the different, of course, you know, fronts, reserves. These are the actual front where combat's taking place. Um, as you can see here, here's the action reports. If you've missed any of this, I thought I'd do a little quick update for you there. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're on the Tallinn Road. They're sending their reserves in, so that should be interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think he's, like, dead or something. Uh, yeah, he's probably cut off. Let's entrench that guy. And um, I wonder if I should have... Well, here, someone requested I do this. So, And I've done this before briefly, but uh, this is the Actions Wiki. This tells you... Basically, what all this stuff is, because you you get a lot of um, options at different times in the game. Sometimes you click on a front, you won't get as many as others, but uh, sometimes you do. So let's uh, just go through a couple of these kind of real quick. Uh, on the strategic moves, reserve. This action removes your army from the front line, shielding it from direct enemy attack, allowing it to be restored with the refit action. The game does not offer to out in a reserve a particular army it is undoubtedly because its current situation prevents it okay so to move it into reserve okay to the front this action will bring to the front the reserve unit bringing back and forth units to refit them is not a working tactic in the long run if you are on the offensive because you will use too many command points okay new assignment this action will allow a unit to join a neighboring operation and strategic reserve this action returns your unit to the reserves of the front HQ or army group. If the operation is in progress, the army will have to be able to leave the front and go to the reserve before it can be brought back. Okay, so here's some of the things you can do. Let's look defense first. Entrenchment, obviously. They are more effective in defense. Giving movement or attack orders to an entrenched army causes them to lose their entrenchment. Makes sense. Defensive withdrawal. This, election, this action allows you to exchange a percentage of operation progress for a gain in cohesion. That's interesting. This action has the advantage of leaving the army on the front. Hedgehog. This uh, defensive formation does not seek to hold the whole front, but relies on a small, highly fortified defensive area. Hedgehog unit gains a bonus in defense and loses the negative traits. Exposed flank, stretched lines, stragglers. On the other hand, it is easier to infiltrate. That makes sense. Its lines and its chances of finding itself surrounded are increased. Yeah, that also makes sense. Defense in depth. This action is available to entrench Soviet units as soon as the first lessons of war are learned. Defense in depth is particularly effective against Panzer armies. I'm going to have to look for this one. It gives a defensive bonus and slows the attacker's progress and arrange the castle. This action allows a German unit to arrange the pocket in which it is surrounded to last longer. Its lines are tightened, shelter and airfields are built, and all that. Okay, so now, offensive. Assault. This is the classic assault. Okay. Shelling. This action is available for armies with cannons. Shelling is more effective if the army has a lot of cannons and ammo. It allows you to attack without taking losses when the front is blocked or the enemy entrenched. It may be useful in weakening it first by shelling. Human wave. Overwhelm the enemy defenses by sending waves of assault one after the other. Expect huge losses if you use this action. Assault waves, however, are very useful because they can pin down an entire army, uh, enemy armies if they are adequately used, they are formidable against enemies starting to run out of ammo. The other advantage to this action is that you don't need a competent general to direct it. Hmm, okay. Armor Counter Strike, which I have not, I don't think I've seen this one yet. This action is similar to the Human Wave, but with armored vehicles this time. It's available even if the unit is held in reserve, but in this case, some of the tanks may break down simply by urging to, simply by moving to the combat zone you'd be surprised to know how poorly reliable were those tanks yes they were terribly unreliable 
and heroic charge, this cavalry action will have the effect of killing most of your men. <laughs> but do not throw your cavalry units into battle this way until you have no other recourse. Okay, so there's some basic ideas there. So this is available for all this kind of stuff. So there you go. So that's a little bit about the game there. Um, you can zoom in and out. And I think it's time to go ahead and move to the next turn. And maybe, what do we got here? They're, ref they're both refitting, so nothing really to do there, right? Because these guys, I thought they were refitting. Yeah. Wait. Okay, let's just go to the next turn. September 14th, 1941. I can see what's happening here. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, let's start in Murmansk. Murmansk. Gotta wait till that little circle appears. Last week's, uh, there's apparently not much happening here. Hmm, okay. So, what about this? Uh, ammunition resupply. Alright, so they attacked, but nothing much really happened. So that's alright. That's actually good news. And I've got four action points. Four! I don't have anything to do with them, but I've got four. Um, so I could assault. I could entrench. Um, I need to look up shoot the traitor. I'm not really quite clear about that. Let's entrench here. That's weird, because once I entrench, then it opens up assault, human wave, shoot the traitor, defensive withdrawal, blah, blah, blah. So, okay. Um, let's look here and see what we've got. Second finish, core to the front. So, I do I have anyone opposing these guys? Yes. You. Um, I don't. I want to do the human wave at some point and just see what happens, but I don't think this is the place to do it. So I think we'll shell them. Yes, indeed. That should be good. And um, see what's happening here. Uh, we did take a hit a little bit, but we're doing pretty good. Um, can we... Let's shell them again. Hey, we'll shell those guys. And then we can't do anything with this guy. Can we do anything else with this guy? Uh, not really, no. Okay. Um, there's nothing here. I've got four points and there's nothing there. Oh, wait. Um, is this guy like... Yeah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. What about this guy? Let's refit him. Yeah, that's a little better. And we'll send him... We'll leave him alone for a minute. Let's just see where the Germans are going to end up going. Ah, uh, wow. We took a beating there. We took a real beating there. Minus three. One tank. Three infantry. Three infantry. Three guns. Whoa, we're getting killed here. Um, poof. Minus three. Yeah, we're... And they're supplying Panzer Group 3. We're going to need... We're going to need some help is what we're going to need. Many soldiers have surrendered, and impressive columns of prisoners are being driven to makeshift camps. The 15th Army is routed. Its heavy equipment has been destroyed and abandoned on site. That's these guys. Um, I, yeah, I, let's. What happens if I refit? Um, okay. And now, what happens if I... No, I can't. Yes, yeah, entrench, good. So maybe that'll hold for a minute, for a hot minute at the very least. Can I send, you guys can't go to, what about you? Can you send anybody to small lens? Because the question, uh, apparently not. Ah, he got killed. Yeah, I'm like in trouble here, I think. I, this is not good. This is not good at all. 
And I, I don't seem to have any other units coming my way. Hello. Um, it would be great if I, you know, could get some troops here. I don't know where they're supposed to be coming from, but they better hurry up. Um... Okay, wait a minute. So, probably this. This is southwest. Okay. Uh, let's send him to the southern front. Oh! That clicked a little too far there. Yeah, this is all... Holy cow, look at that. That's insane. Oh, yeah, we're in we're in big trouble everywhere. Everywhere you look, people, we're in trouble. Well, that's accurate anyway in terms of history. Let's uh, let's shell. I mean, maybe it'll hurt them a little bit. Um, south. Race to the Dnieper refits southwest. Let's go ahead and. Hopefully slow him down from getting over the Dnieper River. And uh, I, the weird thing is, I, I, do, I, you, I guess you can't just like build your own units. I don't see anything that lets lets us do that. It just you know you can take things on and off the map and whatever, but um, that's it. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go to the next one. Let's start in the south. Does he need to refit? Um, yeah, well, he's got, he doesn't have any trucks, it looks like, though. Otherwise, he's got six guys, so, I mean, that's a lot. Let's send him to the southwest front. And, oh, here we go. Oh, God. Jeez, look at that. Holy cats. So this guy's basically dead. This guy is dead, and this guy wishes he was dead. Look at the losses. Wow. We're getting our booty kicked, man. Big time. Um, look at all these different things that we could do here. It's amazing. I'm not really sure what you get out of nationality purges and anything else. It just doesn't sound like... A really good idea to me, so we're going to entrench because, I mean, you know, what else can we do? I'm waiting for defense in depth to pop up. I'd love to see that one. Hint, hint. Uh, boy. Two, two. Yeah, we're ooh, lost one tank. One tank there, so. Yeah, he's gone. Um, you're not at the front? I thought you were at the front. How can you be dug in and not at the front? I don't... Sounds weird to me. So we'll go to the front, and we'll entrench. And hope for the best, because that's really all I can do. Um, let's... Uh, let's send him to the Luger Road. And... Um, So they're resupplying there. That's good for us. Let's go to the front and entrench. All right. I should probably... I want to find out from this what... Said, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, shoot the... Tr what, the what the heck is that? Shooting the general is a good way to raise the barbarity score... Little chance that the new general will significantly superior to the old one. Okay, so why would you do that? Uh, barrier troops. Barrage teams are formed to monitor the rear of the army. Oh, okay, so these are the guys that are sending you back at gunpoint. They're the NKVP. Okay. Nationality purges. Armies purged of nationalities deemed unreliable or suspect. Like. Baltic people and Ukrainians, the cohesion of the troops increases, but its numbers decrease. Doesn't sound good to me. Members of the commie party supplement the strength of the army, giving it a boost in Bolshevik fervor. 
The Army gains in the number of troops and in cohesion, but its military experience decreases. So that's, you know, doesn't sound great. I mean, probably depends on the situation, I suppose. Um, let's just entrench you. Okay, what about here? Doesn't seem to be anything happening. Let's shell, because, you know, why not? Uh, blah, 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 what about here? Do I have anything here? Yes, actually, I do. Human wave, shoot the traitor. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, shooting the, yeah, no. I mean, I know the Russians did it, but nah, you know. Okay, so I really can't do anything here, because I'm not going to do a human wave assault. I mean, it might be a good idea, but somehow it just doesn't seem like it to me. So we'll leave that be and come up here to Murmansk. They're still resupplying. Still nothing much happening, which doesn't surprise me. Um, now, we're not going to do human wave either. We'll just hold on. Boy, Murmansk has got like tons of points and nothing whatsoever to do with them. Real capacity, so. So they got plenty of artillery. We've got air. Oh, now what I don't know is how to get this. Does this represent what's in that division, or is this in reserves? And how do you get it out of reserves? Uh, or put it somewhere where it would be useful. In that, I don't. I don't see any way to do that. So. That's a little odd. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Yes, indeed. And finally, let's check this out. Um, oh, well, I don't have any command points, so I'm not doing anything here. All right, so if that's the command points, then we'll go to the next turn. The good news is, it seems like, and, and again, you know, I know that it's abstract, and I know this map, you know, what the I know what all the symbols on the maps are, guys, but I'm telling you that Stalin and Hitler had a better map than this to look at. That's all I'm saying. If I could actually see the relationship between, like, okay, there's the Ninth Army and there's the Third Panzer Group and versus the 60th Soviet Army or whatever, you know, it would help me. But... Based on what I can actually see here, it appears we're doing pretty well, actually, compared to um, where they were at at the end of September, historically. But I could be totally wrong on that. Okay, yeah, still nothing's happening here. Are they still resupplying? Gee, slow. Well, up, it would be up there. Uh, action report. Assault. It was a... Okay. Nothing much is happening there. And supplying by road will cost you blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, again, I'm not inclined to do anything. If we're holding, which we appear to be, I am happy with that. Now, this is weird. This one. We did lose a little bit here. Uh, wow. Got, what the heck? Where did all these units come from? It's kind of weird. Okay, these guys are dug in. These guys are not dug in. So we'll put them, get them dug in. Uh, maybe I should send these guys to the front. Maybe we could push them back. Let's send them to the front. And that's all we can do, I guess. He... Let's refit this guy. No, it didn't really do much good. So I don't think this guy needs either. Let's send him to the front. And I don't have any more command points. Dang, nabbit. All right. So maybe now I've got enough guys at the front here where we can start to uh, push back. I'd love to push that back a little bit. I'd love to do something here. Uh, but, hey, I've got somebody. So let's start by shelling because that's always lots of fun. And uh, see what we can do there. Okay. Um... We already looked at that, I think. Yes, we did, right? 
Um, maybe not. Let's show. Okay. And uh, what do we got here? Doof. Man, we are getting our butts kicked right here. This is bad. I'd love to hold this because obviously this messes up getting supplies to Leningrad. They can still do it, but it just makes it harder. Um, go to the front. Entrench. Go to the front. Entrench. All right. So if I can hold on to Tallinn, that, that's going to help a little bit. Uh, you, I think I already looked at you, didn't I? Yes, I think. Well, I don't have any action points, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <sighs> Booty kick in a little bit. That's not too bad, actually, minus one. These guys minus two. But at least they're not losing any of this. They're just, their morale's hurting, I guess, or their readiness, or whatever that represents. Um, we'll shell them. I'm trying not to lose too many troops in fruitless assaults. I know it kind of is boring, probably, to watch this. <laughs> Sorry about that, but, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. So, where do we want this guy to go? Let's send him... Yeah, let's send him to the Smolensk Road. And this guy... Whoa, we got a lot of trucks in there. His cohesion went up, so good. So next, well, hey, we can move him this turn. Uh, let's send him southwest. Now, let's... I already looked at that, so let's look at this. Ah, uh, minus one. Okay. So we restored communications there. The Slovak forces versus the 55th Rifle Corps, so... Okay. Um, seems like we're doing okay. Let's shell them. Shell them. I got two left. So wait a minute. I don't know what that pin means there. Um... One point left. Let's let's shell him. All right. So hopefully that'll beat him up a little bit. Make him think twice. And down here, E. Third Romanian army is in hedgehog defense. Well, that's interesting. So where are all these guys? If the third army here is Hedgehog, where? <laughs> See, it's weird. I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to. Go to the front, entrench, out of action points. So we're still holding them back from the Dnieper here, the Dnieper bend at least. It is, by the way, what do you think? Is it Dnieper or is it, or is it Dnieper? I've heard it said both ways by people who I think knew what they were doing, which is more than I know. So let your old Uncle Wargaming guy know what you think there in the comments. <laughs> I appreciated that, by the way. I had a comment asking me if it's on Steam. Yes, it's on Steam. It's under five bucks, this game. So, you know. I mean, come on, guys. And I believe it's early access, so they're still working on stuff, I think, if I remember that correctly. Here we go, October. And it looks like we are continuing to hold pretty well here. Let's start at the top and see what's happening. Yeah, this continues to be a stalemate. Um... Yeah, we're not we're not human waving anybody. No, no thanks. There, nothing. See, I still I, I'm still weird about that. That doesn't make sense to me. But okay, uh, there's still nobody there, and apparently they're not going. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, let's shell. Because why the shell not? That's what I say. Um, <laughs> old old bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. 
Come on. There. Oh, took some big hits up here. Hey, ooh, he was destroyed, in fact. Yikes. That was bigger than it looked at first when I looked at it. Ouch. Okay, that's... That is bad. That, my friends, is bad. Um, so we need... To see if anybody has any units that we can send. I think that's the the Luga Road, isn't it? Or is it the Tal... It's not the Tallinn Road. So it's got to be the Luga Road. I uh, hope. So let's come back here and see if anybody new has popped up. Hey. Um, yeah, go to the front. Entrench. Ooh, okay, maybe that'll help hold. Um, I wish we had... Where are my reserves? I need reserves, people. See, we got this, but we, you know. So I have rail capacity. I have tanks. I have planes. And it means nothing that I can figure out. Okay, so here we go. Boo, yeah. Yikes. We held on, but we got beat up pretty bad. Um, go to the front. Entrench. This is my new move. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, it's cut off or something? Okay, let's restore communications and entrench. And I'm out of points, unfortunately. So, so much for that. Okay, so down here... Um, I'm not sure what the capture of Kiev and the, the Dnieper thing is, but we're going to send these guys there. I, I, I'm assuming this is the capture of Kiev... I don't know. Oh, God. That's bad. But apparently, yeah, I guessed right. Go to the front. Entrench. And that's all I can do. Uh, probably should have sent somebody else to the front. Oh, well, I got two units that are digging in. So... Down here, um, I just looked at this, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Deep Raid, Panzer Group 1. Ooh, okay, 18% progress. So they're driving. That's probably what that arrow was. I thought I saw an arrow going into the uh, Crimea. Ah, that's not good. And you're dead. So that's, Lord, no cutoff. So let's restore. Let's entrench. Uh, no co more command points? Really? Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Um, I thought I saw an arrow going like that, but maybe I didn't. Let's go ahead and let the Germans go, and then we'll wrap this baby up. Um, there you go. Starting to snow. Yeah, it's October 11th, baby. So I think we're certainly holding far west of where the original um, Russians did. Of course, this isn't... I, I think this is just set on, like, normal AI. I don't even remember, honestly. Uh, but that's what I normally do, so I'm sure it is. So it's starting to snow up the north. Looks like it's stopping right about there. Down here, we're still, we still got problems. So come on back next time, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, if you got any insight on any of this, and uh, we will continue to play this. This game is really interesting. Um, it's really different, which I like. I think that's a good thing. Um, the map, you know. I've already I've talked about the map, so I don't need to say much more about my feelings about the map. I thought I think it could be a little more detailed without being crazy about it. Um, but you know, for the price, it's like wow, come on. And once the system's learned, I, I think this game would probably be really interesting head to head if you can even do that. Uh, and so we'll see. So until next time, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching. Take care out there, everybody, and I will see you later.